Good day and welcome. This is the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston with the Expedition 29 update for Wednesday, October 26th. Flight Director Jerry Jason is leading today's Orbit 2 flight controllers and serving as spacecraft communicator at Capcom is astronaut Anna Fisher. Mission managers met this morning to discuss the status of the mission. The Russian Space Agency managers reported that the packing of the Progress 42 vehicle is near completion. The purging of prop, uh, Progress 42's prop is complete, and the final burn in a series of current reboost maneuvers was conducted successfully this morning at 7.52 a.m. Central Time. That uh, reboost burn of the Svezda service module engines lasted about 1 minute and 54 seconds and raised the station's altitude by 2.7 miles at the apogee and 1.6 miles at the perigee. The station is now flying at an altitude of 251.3 by 233.2 statute miles. This puts the station at the correct altitude for the upcoming launch and docking of the Progress 45 cargo ship, next month's launch and docking of the Expedition 30 crew, and just uh, six days after that, the landing of the Expedition 29 crew. The three Expedition 29 crew members, Commander Mike Fossum and Flight Engineers Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov, are continuing with their preparations for the arrival of the uh, Expedition 2930 crew, continuing to pack the station. With the departure of uh, Progress 42, the station will be ready for the arrival of that Progress 45 vehicle. That vehicle will launch at 5.11 a.m. Sunday. That's 4.11 p.m. Baikonur time. Progress 45 is filled with 2.8 tons of food, fuel and supplies for the station, including uh, 100 and, excuse me, 1,653 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen and air, 926 pounds of water, and 3,108 pounds of spare parts, experiment hardware, and other supplies. Progress 45 has been mated to its Soyuz booster and is ready to roll to its launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Friday just before sunrise. It will be docking to the piers docking compartment on the station that is scheduled for Wednesday, November 2nd at 6.40 a.m. Central Time. With the arrival of Progress 45, Bossom Furukawa and Volgov begin serious preparations for the arrival of the three new crew members. With the, when the remainder of that uh, Expedition 29 crew arrive, uh, that includes Anton Shakoplarov, Anatoly Ivanishin and U.S. astronaut Dan Burbank. Uh, they are set to launch on November 13th on that Soyuz 28 docking with the station on November 15th. Fossum for Akawa and Volkov will then return to Earth on November 22nd. And Burbank will take command of the station, initiating the beginning of Expedition 30. The three-person crew will work together for 36 days as they await the arrival in the remain of the remainder of that Expedition 30 crew. NASA's Don Pettit, Russia's Oleg Kononenko, and Europe's Andrei Kuperz will launch to the station aboard the Soyuz 29 spacecraft on or about December 26. And other activities today on board the space station, the Expedition 29 crew is involved in biomedical experiments and routine maintenance of that waste and hygiene system. They worked on that some yesterday. Fossum today will perform the SPRINT experiment. That is one of more than 100 experiments on board the space station. SPRINT is a resistance, is, is a resistance aerobic training study uh, that evaluates the use of high intensity and low volume exercise training to minimize the loss of muscle, bone, and cardiovascular function. The principal investigator of that uh, experiment is the University's Space Research Association in Houston, along with co-investigators at Ball State University in Indiana and Wiley Corporation in Houston. Investigators hope to prove that alternating days of high-intensity interval training with days of continuous aerobic exercises is more effective than the predominantly continuous aerobic exercise, which is the current standard on care on board the station for the maintenance of cardiovascular function. Since uh, yesterday's update, there have been three crew events, one in, that includes Farakawa with the Japanese Space Agency, one with uh, Dusty Hill, vocalist and bassist of ZZ Top, and one with the uh, Russian, uh, the entire crew, including uh, the Russian crew Volkov, um, with the International Space Olympiad. The crew also has an opportunity today to capture photographs of Victoria uh, Seychelles, the uh, Ubenese 
volcano in Peru, the Chihuahua in Big Bend deserts of Texas and, and Mexico, and Hurricane Rena. The space station will be passing directly over Hurricane Rena today at 2.18 p.m. Central Time. NASA will begin televising that pass at 2.15 p.m. as the station begins its approach. Rena it currently is a Category 2 hurricane, but is expected to intensify and be a Category 3 by the time the station passes over. Reno well, threatens Cozumel, Cancun, and the rest of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, and is expected to hit Cozumel today, as, and then begin moving over the Caribbean coast. Other interest of today is at 3 p.m. Central Time, there will be a pre-launch news conference of the Delta II launch Friday with the NPP satellite, and that will be broadcast on NASA TV out of Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. This is Mission Control Houston.